Hello students. Today we shall learn about an interesting imagination felt by a sick boy. This is the poem written by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Land of Counterpan. R. L. Stevenson is known for his work and English literature throughout the world. He was a Scottish writer, poet, and he, was, he is widely read even today. His famous books, his works, Treasure Island and Enjoying Imagination, Kidnapped and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, they are known world over and they are translated in many languages. Robert Louis Stevenson was also not possessing good health. He often remained ill or sick. Even though his contribution to the literature is healthy and wealthy enough. Here, he expresses power of imagination by a boy who is sick and laid in a bed. A boy is unwell or sick, he is lying in the bed, covered with bed sheets, and he starts imagining the doctor has advised him to stay at home for a few days to keep himself busy and pleasing, he starts imagining. He creates a new world of imagination even though he is lying in bed. Einstein has quoted somewhere that Imagination is powerful than knowledge. Knowledge may be limited for a human being. A man cannot know all the things. There are limitations to his knowledge. But imaginations are unlimited. Sky is the limit. So, you have an excess of boundless world of imagination if you can explore the boy says, when I was sick and lay abed, I had two pillows at my head. The boy says that when I was sick and lay abed, abed means in the bed. Now this is an old structure, structure of old English, abed, in bed.
I had two pillows, some extra comfort to sit and lie in bed. And all my toes, toys beside me lay to keep me happy all the day. And beside me before my bed sheet, shawl, there were spread all of my toys to keep me happy all the day. Because anybody cannot sit with this sick boy for the whole day. Therefore, he is allowed to play with the toys that he liked. Children always like toys. A big elephant can come to a small toy to enrich his magnificent imagination of a real elephant. All my toys besides me lay to keep me happy all the day. On the shawl or coverlet, there were toys spread before him. And this initiator, this triggered the imagination in his mind. He started imagining. If you imagine something, you can reach in the entirely a different world. And sometimes, for an hour or so, I watch my laden soldiers go. There were soldiers made of lead. Lead is a metal, soft metal. Laden, made of lead. Gold, golden. Lead, laden. Laden soldiers, soldiers' toys, heavy toys. Toys were standing still, but he imagined them as if they are living for hours together. And sometimes for an hour or so, I watched my laden soldiers go, watched, not saw, watched, means with attention, with all his heart. I watched my laden soldiers go with different uniforms and drills. The soldiers had different, different types of uniforms and drills like fighting, marching, defending, attacking, various types of drills he expelled in imagination for hours. Among the bedclothes through the hills, among the bedclothes on my, before me, the bedclothes appear to be hilly region of the battlefield. Imagination doesn't have any limitation. The boy watched his soldiers marching and, and making drills, exercises in different uniforms. Why do soldiers wear uniforms? Uniforms help unity. Unity is strength. They have helmet, then 
स्ट्रॉन्ग कवर टू प्रोटेक्ट डेम सेल्व वाइल्ड फाइटिंग एंड समटाइम्स सेंट माई शिप्स इन क्रिट्स ऑल अप एंड डाउन एमोंग द शिट्स एंड समटाइम्स द बॉय इमेजिन हिज शिप शिप टॉय इट मे बी स्मॉल बट इमेजिनेशन कैन क्रिएट अ ह्यूज लार्ज शिप सेलिंग इन द सी दो द टॉय वॉज ऑन द बेड शिट and the fleet so many ship toy toy ships were going as if they are going among the ships sailing along the sea or brought my trees and houses out or he would bring his small toy houses and small toy trees and place them before him to create a city imaginary city city in imagination or brought my trees and houses out and planted cities all about and there i would plant cities plant trees and cities make cities see before his bed bed of the boy sick boy flies on the wings of his imagination to fill the captain or commander of the army of soldiers the captain of the ships the prince of the city and planted cities all about i was the giant great and still i felt myself as a giant because all the toys were very small comparatively the sick boy was big enough so he had superiority and felt himself like the boss of all these things giant still and still that sits upon the pillow hill i felt myself like a still giant that sits on the hill but of pillow imaginations don't know limits and boundaries and the giant sees before him dell and plain dell is one plain region of england or plain the pleasant land of counterpane counterpane means counter before plain the place before bed before the person counterpen bed spread here thus the boy enjoys imagination now let us complete one exercise of three four sentences reading comprehension exercise a complete these sentences sentence number 1 this poem is about a child lay in bed as he is sick the speaker had two what at his bed head two pillows third one the speaker's toys were laid beside him to keep him happy all the day fourth one the speaker watched the soldiers go with different uniforms and drills fifth one the speaker planted blank what answer the speaker planted cities and trees all about
imagination requires no time you can imagine great many things within very short time there are no limitations to imaginations let us work out certain questions of exercise b what did the speaker do with his ships the speaker sends his ships up and down why did the speaker refer to himself as a giant because before his small little toys he is himself big in size therefore is refers to himself as a giant how was the speaker able to see the dell and the plain the speaker was able to see the dell and the plain because he was sitting on a hill like elevated place by two pillars thus this is a good imagination poem with certain rhyming scheme a bed head le de still hill etc so enjoy the poem prepare the words and enrich your word power wish you all the best thank you